And what about the uh, Evian champion, Celine Boutier? This is on the seventh hole, already two under par, 163 yards, par three. Taking dead aim. Yeah, set herself up for a birdie. And this would take her to three under par, which is the leading score of the Order of Merit Chasers alongside Anna Palaif Trevino. Good hole this, isn't it? The par five, 12th hole. Uh, sorry, the par five, eighth hole. And uh, Celine Boutier with her second has gone in the water in front of her. So this is her full shot. Yeah, mistake. Water all short left, but one of the best short games. That was at 10, now they had 11. This is at nine for Boutier. Yeah, that's beautifully done. Chance to bounce back. Bounce back well. That was the leave you wanted on nine, but dare you miss the flag right. She'll be very aware when she's playing with Jean Glab that this is this is really on for Celine Boutier. Overdid it, but it grabbed a piece of the fringe and stuck. It's hard to get the pace normally when that's the case. So a little pacey from the French player. 10.30 a couple of weeks ago. They're doing a job out there. And days like today is a grind. Good two put there. Well, Matt it, Fitzpatrick's response was what? Well, he says, I don't walk into your work and say, why aren't you smiling? You'll do better at it. Maybe we'll see the fun for Forstel in, in a moment. Keep this one down the right-hand side. Aim at the bunker. 278 off the tee, so not reachable. And from there, I'd be surprised if Boutier went for it in two. Most players who have taken it down the left-hand side have gone for this in two. Yeah, you said Lingrant's sixth in strokes gains driving. I think Boutier's 117th. So they're Philip Miao, who I think's got a great name. He's uh, you probably recognise that name. He's played a bit on the European Tour, DP World Tour, plays Challenge Tour mainly. About 60 yards here. Superb, sucking that one down the slope. Uh, as you can hear the way she talks, very much a Western Australian. Safely down the middle for Boutier. And what? What we spoke about there is it can it help with them not knowing anything when it 153 yards left pin that'll suit her draw such high expectations sometimes you go yeah didn't see that one coming I whereas think we did. Celine Boutier only three times teed it up at the Solheim Cup and didn't get a single point which also you wouldn't have believed at the start of the week <laughs> and you wondered how maybe that she would come back from that you know players that have a poor Solheim Cup but yeah. 
now been on three winning European teams. Yeah, we're not going to have long to see, to wait, are we, to see if Europe can make it four wins out of four in the Solheim Cup. From the upslope, that's going to help with this 9-9 for Boutier. That one stuck in. Beautifully done. So part one from uh, Celine Boutier. If she uh, gets up and down here, she will, as it stands, go to the top of the race to Costa del Sol. I thought she'd be having a closer putt for birdie than the one she's got. It's a curler from right to left. See the one back as well. Next up, Boutier. That looked a good swing. It popped on her, didn't it? Sometimes when it's downwind, the wind can actually knock it out of its flight. But she'll settle for that, gets herself to two under. Hello, hello. That was threatening from Boutier. Seems to be a little bit of hit in her pitch shots today. You know, it's like it picks up pace at the hole to, I mean, at the ball to make sure she gets a good connection rather than just keeping that swing smooth as a, the club reaches its low point. No prize, unfortunately, today at 16. BTA to remain at four under. Nicely done. Well, just to keep reminding you, as it stands, Trisha Chinglab would end the year as the number one player. Of yeah. started a bit right didn't it ball was above her feet was expecting it to go left and just held the face open well the head wall you just can't take your eyes off her this is a good leave here see how she could go after that put she could roll it to the hole whereas the head wall is always just trying to ease it there knowing that it's quick to finish shy of it she'll take it at the right bunker knowing that she can't reach it <coughs> what she played for First time playing the Spanish Open for Celine Boutier, this event that goes back to 1982. Dressed in French colours today, seeing if she can finish with a birdie and to get within two of Lynn Grant. This one 
a cup from left to right. Take Celine Boutier to the top of the race to Costa del Sol standings if we stopped right here. Five under par, sharing third place.